Hello everybody out there in the web. I don't know if anybody's online, but if you are, welcome and welcome here also. My name is Peter Langner. I come from Hamburg, Germany. I'm working with SAP since 1992. And uh, I have brought you a little booklet about myself. It is in the behind, so I leave this out now, what I am doing in general. But in general, I have to do with a lot of SAP systems. For instance, this is the logon of one of my customers. Oh God, so many systems. And I don't only have one customer, but two or three at the same time. And then they finish work. And then like two years later, they come again. And then they reactivate my user. And then it's me to remember the password. Oh. I don't know, some people do it like they use the password, the same password in all the systems or they use a system like the first name of the wife and then like the month and the year or something because they have to, uh, uh, he's doing it, he's nodding. <laughs> some people they have some fancy Excel where they put their uh, passwords and of course they secure it with a master password and if you Google and the internet, you find tools where you very easily can crack this. So um, when I, for myself, realized this, I started to look around for a kind of um, keyword uh, store, a secure keyword store, yes? And I got introduced to a very nice open source and therefore for free software, and it's called KeyPath. I have installed it on my laptop down here. Yes? Uh, I don't know. We can check if it's available for back. You, you check it while I speak because I only have six minutes. Yeah? Okay. okay. So I started here, KeyPath. I think it's written in Java, so you should be able. Yeah? So again, here you have a master password. And type it in. That if I have uh, okay, one finger system. Something like this, and here we are. And this is uh, the example for today. So I have here. I have a kind of directories, pre preset directories. You can fill in anything, and here is one system in it. This NSP system client 100, I always put in the title the name of the system and the uh, client. And I have nicked the favicon from SAP. I've, you can add it here too to have your own icons. And then you have this entry. You can edit it. You put your username, your passwords. Very poor quality here. And so this is quite nice to keep your password. But then, how does the password come into the SAP system? I mean, in the dub log on, you could just uh, copy it. It has a functionality where you, on the, if you click right, you can uh, copy password here. It copies the password to the clipboard for some seconds. I think it's 10 seconds. Let's do it. Yeah, here, it will be cleared in 12 seconds. So this is safe, uh, the, the, the application stores the password and every data encrypted. It's open source, so people look into it, they prove uh, the algorithms. I believe it's very high quality. So, and then I remember we have something in our SAP system called Shortcut. It comes with the SAP GUI with. Yeah, it is, it, it's shipped with the SAP GUI and uh, here down here you can see the link to open the system. Let's have a look at this. In, in the first place you have this CMD means command. This makes the um, key pass issue a command line command. Yes. And what are we going to execute? This program shortcut.exe which has several parameters so and then when I click here 
this, uh, the key pass issues the command and locks me into my system. Yes? What if the shortcut was infected? I part what if the shortcut was infected? Was infected? Was In which way? The shortcut program itself? Yeah. Yes, you have to take care of this, of course, on your computer. Yeah. But still... Um, um, Yes, of course. Yeah. There are also there are other security issues you have to take care of. Uh, you should read instructions of KeyPass carefully, of course. Yes. And um, so let's have a look at these parameters. I have um, written a blog about this. Here we are. And here you find parameters, system name, client, username, password, language and a parameter to maximize the GUI. You have seen the GUI was full screen. Sometimes this parameter makes some problems. Sometimes it has to be in the back, sometimes in the front. I believe it has nothing to do with the version of GUI. But I have not found out yet. You will find explanations in the blog also, also from people contributing in comment, uh, comments uh, in which situation using which way of changing these parameters. There are much more parameters in this node. For instance, there was one guy telling me, well, I have on the same system, I have two systems, you know, with two different system numbers. And there's also a way in handling this. Um, but if you have a question, you can <coughs> add a comment there, and then I will help you out. Yeah, so I live with this since three or four years. I'm very happy with this. I'm using this tool not only for SIP, but for all kinds of web applications and wherever I have a password or a pen. And I was really surprised when I did the migration by just typing in where I normally log in. Uh, uh, using my standard passwords, you know, and now I don't have to use standard passwords anymore. I can even make um, key pass generating me secure passwords because I don't have to remember them. The system does. I only have to remember the main password, and of course, this should be a an, an secure one. And how do you generate? How can you be a generator of secure passwords? Well, I believe this is very simple. You just uh, think of a sentence you can remember very well, a saying or something, and then you always take the first letters of the words. Uh, this makes a string of without any meaning. And then you should add also some special signs and digits too. And this is a pretty good and pretty sure password. And if you use this as the master password, then it's there only once, and then you have like 100 or 200 different passwords automatically generated. So this is my input for today. If you have any questions right now, you're welcome. Yes. Is there any possibility to export the library of the password? Yes, it's just a very simple file which is encrypted. You just take it and copy it in a different place and then it's there. Um, I use it also sometimes to share logon data because with this way you do not have to use SAP logon anymore. It must be installed of course in the system, the GUI. But the program where you keep the logon data is not necessary anymore. It's sufficient if you only store it here in this key path. And then you can make like a little file for one system or two if you're in a customer space and you're new. And now your colleagues come and what do they have to do? Again, type in the data. Because very seldomly, at least that's my experience for external personnel, everything is already prepared. You know, where all these system landscape is typed in, I have to do it. And then I want to pass it on to somebody else. And then this guy, and I get a hard copy, 
<laughs> of some log on, and then I have to type in the router string. This cannot be. Uh, then I prefer to have a little file, which you can pre pre produce with keypass also. Um, but you have, must make sure that you have the same keypass version. So within the team, you will have to take care of this. Uh, okay. Uwe, what's next? Um, I just searched on the page. There are several uh, unofficial ports of the keypass. And one is, for example, for iPhone, iPad. And one is for Mac. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It, it's if you want to use a sublink, then it makes sense to have it on a, a device where you also have sublock on on it too. Yes, you now have a question. I think this is a great way to share uh, all password. Generally, we work in team, and uh, password changes uh, every two weeks. So using uh, Dropbox uh, or uh, other file sharing, uh, we can uh, use this method to have all passwords synchronized with all team without do anything. Yes. So let me just ask you, just for the statistics, who of you, in your, in your ZAP logon, yes, I show you mine here. Uh, I have here different systems. Yeah? About 20, 25? How, how, how many have you got? 20? Who has got more than 25? Who's got more than 50? Who's got more than 75? Okay, yes, it can happen. With large landscapes, it can happen, yeah. And if you do it right, you should have a different password for each system, yeah? And this is really difficult to make. A, B, C, D, E, one, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, well, uh, some more questions? Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Peter.